Hey, it's Holly. In today's video, I'm showing you such a cute playset. It is the 1995 Glitter Island Enchanted Storybook. This is part of the Enchanted Storybook collection. In fact, it is apparently the first one. There is a little number one on the side here. Um, but there were a number of these made between 1995 and 1996, uh, about six or seven of them off the top of my head. I don't know exactly what the number is, um, but this is the first one. And I'm going to be showing you how cute and just tiny this set is. Even the figures in this set are smaller than normal. Now, I don't know if you're getting the full scale of this, but this is like smaller than my hand. It's really, really small. So I can't wait to show you around. Let's get started. Okay, so as I mentioned in the intro, this is the 1995 Glitter Island Storybook. This is from the Enchanted Storybook Collection. There were a few of these made between 95 and 96. The ones that were made in 1995 um, look mostly like this, this size. They're quite small, <laughs> you can see. Uh, my hand is about six inches from top to bottom, so they're, they're quite small. Um, there was a larger one made in 1995, which was the Sparkling Mermaid Storybook, um, which I will show in a later video. However, most of them were more like this size. Some of the ones that were made in 1996, however, had a little key on the front. Those ones are hard to come across with the key. Hopefully I will get some of those in my collection soon, but I'm going to be showing you today this Glitter Island Storybook. Um, I was really lucky to get a good deal on this one. Um, of all places, I bought it from Israel and um, it's just in beautiful condition. They all have a sticker on the side. This one has a sort of a beach palm <laughs> glitter island scene, if you will, um, just to mimic sort of the side of a book so that if you were to put this on a shelf, it looks kind of like a little storybook. So. Let's go ahead, open it up and check out what it looks like inside. So the storybooks all have a little clasp on the side um, that you can gently open. A lot of them are damaged uh, because the plastic is quite thin. Fortunately, this one is not, but we're gonna open it up and check it out. Okay, so when it opens, it's um, kind of like a hybrid between the Polyville sets and the standard compacts, the original compacts, in the sense that it is all contained when it's closed. However, when it's open, it is a little bit more 3D. Um, now again, this is a much smaller playset than many of the other ones. Um, it's smaller than a lot of the, even the poly compacts that were original. Um, but they are quite beautiful. And this one gets its name Glitter Island because it is covered in glitter. So let's walk through as I usually do from top to bottom. So up top here, there is a beautiful glittery waterfall that spills into this sort of lagoon. There are, um, this is very similar to the sticker that you see in the water section of the Jewel Magic Ball playset. Um, sort of a few fish, a few sort of flower or lily pads. Um, I think they reused some of these stickers between uh, 95 and 96, but looks very, very similar. There is a shack up top that has what looks to be sort of a dock or a pier coming off of it and lots of beautiful foliage around the side. Now the shack opens up and that reveals an area where Polly and her friends can sit. Then there's also a space where they can eat. So this looks like a table with a meal and a cute little ladder. So it's just like a little hideaway, not a full house by any means. 
So that is all that's really going on in the top half of the set. Now here, this is a series of palm trees that are connected together and they are meant to come up so that when you have it open, it looks more like that. And the palm trees are supporting a hammock. So the hammock does swing back and forth. And I'll show you what that looks like later with one of the figures inside, but that does move. So you can access the compact, play with it here, and then bring it up. How cute is that? All right, let's look at the bottom. The bottom is cute. It is <laughs> super neat. I'm not totally sure uh, what is going on in the bottom, um, but there is sort of this little step, uh, stepping stones that come down from the top portion into what looks to be like a little cave um, type thing with a blanket in it. So another place where they can rest. There is a series of little ponds. I presume this is actually likely the ocean, the edge of the island. There's also another cave in here, um, which I'll show you what I believe that's for in a moment. And just some general items on the beach. Looks like maybe she is setting up for a little picnic or building a sandcastle, who knows. At the back, Again, some more beautiful foliage and a treasure chest. And the treasure chest does open up. Now bear with me, it's a little difficult to get open. There we go. Okay, so inside the treasure chest, you can see it's, it's so glittery. I don't know if my camera is doing it justice. This thing is just covered in glitter. And amazingly, it's not coming off on my hands. Like it's really well glued on there. Um, but inside there is some gold treasure. So let's talk about the figures that come with the Glitter Island playset. So first up, as always, is Polly. Now the figures that came in these storybooks were a lot smaller than the typical Polly figures. They have the same sized base. However, the figure themselves are actually quite a bit shorter and um, thinner. They're very, very petite. Um, so they kind of don't mix well <laughs> with the other sets if you were to play with them all together. But between the Enchanted Storybooks, they do all look similar. So Polly is wearing a sort of orange sarong. She has a beautiful green bracelet on her arm, a little flower crown. And she just looks like she has settled right into the island life. So that is our first figure. Next up is Lily. Lily um, <laughs> reminds me of myself. She has gorgeous red hair, sort of that gingery orange red hair. She is wearing a white sort of hairband of flowers in her hair. She has a beautiful, what I presume is probably a shell necklace and a green grass skirt. Um, so definitely some Hawaiian island vibes coming from this one. She's also holding some flowers and she, I presume, is probably who Polly is visiting on Glare Island. And no visit to the island is complete without some kind of way to get there, this beautiful salmon colored canoe comes with the set and um, just kind of you can see here just supports their body in the middle so you can get them tucked in there um, but a really cute addition not a ton of water <laughs> uh, to use the canoe with basically you can just kind of sit it there um, but of course as kids do you can use your imagination maybe draw on some paper some more water and swim your way up in the canoe. So that is the third piece that comes with the complete set. Next up is Shelly, the little turtle. Um, so cute. And anytime I get a set that has these tiny little pieces, I'm always amazed that they're still together. Um, but this turtle, I believe, is likely who is meant to be hiding out in here. So there's like a little 
turtle cave that you can put Shelly into. You probably can't even see that. It's so dark in there. Um, but I presume that that is likely what the purpose of that cave there is. So cute. So look how tiny that is. So tiny. And last but not least is Coco the monkey. Coco has one hand up and a little wave. And um, I presume that this implies that this set is probably likely meant to be somewhere in a jungle uh, or in other place that we've got monkeys hanging out, but just so cute. I am a little worried about this one. I'm so glad that this one's in good shape because that tail, I don't know if you can see that, but that tail, it's so thin. It is, I'm surprised it hasn't broken, to be honest. Um, the paint on these figures too, I am super impressed. I cannot believe what good condition this whole set is in. Um, all the faces are just in, whoops, beautiful condition and everything is just so gorgeous. So those are our complete cast of figures and accessories that came with the 1995 Glitter Island playset. All right, so that's the Glitter Island storybook. What was your favorite feature? I think mine is probably the hammock because it's pretty darn cute and also who doesn't love a hammock? Um, but I'd love to know, tell me in the comments, what was your favorite part of the Glitter Island storybook? Um, did you have any of these storybooks in your collection as a child? Do you have them in your collection now if you're a poly collector? I'd love to know, tell me below. Um, and yeah, I've, I'll be bringing you more of these in the future, so stay tuned for that. Thanks again for watching. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do, it helps out so much, and don't forget to like the video as well. If you are on Instagram, also come follow along on Instagram at Pocket Vintage Toys, where I chat about Polly Pocket stuff. I'm gonna be talking about that new Polly Pocket movie that's coming out. We need to talk about that, um, and just, general behind the scenes stuff. So if you wanna chat over on Instagram, please feel free to follow along at Pocket Vintage Toys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.